in the beginning then I came up with a semi plate H2B slash G2B but now with the introduction of the RBC intake manifold it's politically correct it has a DNA of a K series <laughs> What do you think? Welcome back to the channel. Sagit Night 2. Today's episode, what are we gonna call this thing? <laughs> but before that, Throttle cable is a little bit too short. I need to make another one. Somehow from Honda Accord chassis to a Civic. Yeah, it's a little bit too short. Let's make one out of this. 1.8 or 1.16. I think this is 1.8. And all it takes really is just uh, bend both two ends. But I need to make it a little bit shorter than this one. I'm going to start putting some holes in it. Mount holes. One in the center. And then start cutting it through. To the shape that I like. Here it is. A smaller version. So the last thing to do is just create some hole just to lighten it up a little bit and uh, I'm going to send it to paint shop. The mini version of the bracket. I'm missing this flange. That's okay because this, uh, this is made of steel. I don't think it's going to flex much.
lastly I must not forget the ground cable this is very important it freaks me out the last time I tried to start an engine it would not start at all it would not crank all right the radiator is all secured as you see it uh, I improved it a little bit before I was just uh, securing it with a with a nut at the back when I removed it one of the nut came off so the only thing that's holding it actually is just the intercooler in front of it so I thought uh, maybe I just make it uh, a little bit secure so I put a rib nut on there this time so uh, I don't have to worry much about it and I also added some uh, coolant on there this thing is a pain in the you know what bleeding it so it has to be a multiple start on and off cycles I have to do like maybe like three or four on and off you know like wait till it warms up and then let it cools down open it let the air bleeds out then put some more coolant on there. Yeah, three on about on the four times, I know everything will be bleeds out. Yeah, that thing is a little bit uh, a pain. And I got the throttle cable all hooked up. I made my own bracket again. The this thing is all secured down below. The fuel lines. This will flex a little bit just in case the motor start to move around. The alternator, power steering is all good. The return line, it's all buttoned up. So much of my uh, attention will be focused underneath. Uh, shifter will be next. But before I uh, continue on, I got a question for you. What are we going to call this thing? I know I have called it uh, in the beginning. It was a G2B slash H2B, something like that. And then uh, right after I have mated it with a, with a plate, then I started to call it a semi plate uh, H2B slash G2B. I know someone already asked me before, what are you going to call this thing? And uh, I, I, I stick with the uh, semi plate or a G2B slash H2B. But after I have put this on, on the engine bay together with the RBC intake manifold and uh, someone have asked a question what are you gonna call this thing is it a G2BK or a G23BK and it's like a light bulb man I like the sound of that G23BK huh I like the sound of that G23BK yeah, I would like to get out or derive this motor out of the H2B and having a 23 on it, it only makes sense. It's politically correct. An F23 with the H22 head is a G23 VTEC, right? And now it has a DNA of a K series, which is the introduction of the RBC intake manifold and also the K20A2 pistons yeah it's only politically correct to call it a G23BK yeah I, I like the G23BK than the G2BK G2BK it's shorter but if we call it G23BK it says it all I mean it ends right there it will have its own identity well, I would like to thank uh, Alpa Decline for making a, a questions, and I just like what he put on there, those two names. So from now on, I'm going to call this G23BK. Thank you, Alpa Decline, for making a, for asking a question, and 
the name G23BK will be under your credit. Yes. All right. So uh, there you go. A G23BK. So thank you all for watching. This is where I end this video. And I'll see you guys back next episode. Bye everyone. The G23BK.